What's up, humans and freaks? So I was having a conversation with two friends of mine, Aaron and Donald, today, and we were talking about uh, the human body, basically. And I asked them, I said, is it possible for you guys and just people in general to look at the human body just without it having to be something sexual, something, uh, you know, sinfully lustful? Like, can you just look at at the human body for what it is. I'm so annoyed and it's so just sad and frustrating that in the American culture here in 2024, people can't even look at other people without people thinking some type of way or some type of thing. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. And it's extremely stupid from my perspective because I grew up as a kid uh, fascinated and appreciative of action uh, figure uh, physiques, WWF wrestlers, and then bodybuilding. And once I got into bodybuilding as a teenager, forget about it. It was over. I had posters of men and women on my walls doing uh, bodybuilding poses and, 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 and from bodybuilding competitions and bodybuilding art. And guys, the human body is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay. And this is what we've lost sight of in our ridiculous culture. So we were just talking today and we were talking about, is it okay for Christians to compete in bodybuilding in, you know, pick a sport, volleyball, the girls wear the short uh, spandex shorts so they can, you know, move around well. And, and then you have swimmers wearing speedos and, and, and gymnasts wearing their tights and cut like, what are, I don't even understand how this is a, <laughs> like how this is a thing. So Context is key, right? Obviously, I'm not going to go into the store, the supermarket, with my bodybuilding Speedo trunks on and walk around public like that. People would be like, uh, okay, whatever. He's free to do that. But people would kind of look at me kind of weird, right? So you got to look at the context. But for the sport of bodybuilding, that's the uniform. It's bodybuilding, guys. You have to show your... Ta-da! <gasps> We have muscles on our body. Oh no. Oh no. Your butt is a muscle. Did you know that? Glutes. Gluteus maximus. It's muscle. Your butt is a muscle, guys. And yes, your butt cannot be fat. It cannot be soft. It needs to be shapely and defined just like all the other muscle groups on your body for bodybuilding. So we're having this conversation today. And uh, we're just throwing out all these different types of examples. And here's the thing. Recently, I love the brother, a brother of mine. uh, He said, Brandon, there's two things. Because I noticed, I was like, bro, when we first met, you were real cool. Everything was great. We were going to do some evangelism together, do some, maybe some podcasts together. And then eventually he started acting all weird towards me and distant and cold. And I'm like, hey, and I pulled him aside. Eventually I was like, hey. What's going on with you, man? Before you were cool. Now I can see you're, you're, you're different. You're like a different person. And he goes, well, uh, there's two things that I just, I don't, I don't like that. I don't think we can really work together. I still think you're a brother, but he goes, the bodybuilding thing. And also, uh, uh, you'll never find alcohol in my house. Like I've had a bottle, uh, with company over, like we'll have wine or, you know, a beer here or there, but I don't buy it. It's not in my refrigerator. It's not in my cupboards. I just don't buy alcohol. But if I'm out and about, I'll have a drink. Yeah. I'll have a, a beer, a glass of wine or a margarita. It's just whatever social thing. But the Bible condemns drunkenness, guys. You can have a drink if you're a Christian. The Bible doesn't condemn having a drink. It can condemns being a drunkard. So you don't want to be that. So, but he brought up these two things and I was like, oh man, sad, sad. I said, bro, you're coming at me from a legalistic standpoint. If your point of view is bodybuilding is sinful, then you should not compete in it. You should never go to a bodybuilding show. You should unfollow all things bodybuilding and fitness, whatever you want to call it. Just don't follow it. Because for you, it causes you to stumble. If you can't look at the human body from a artistic, beautiful 
athletic, aesthetic point of view, which is what bodybuilding is, then I'm sorry. The problem isn't the pe- the other people. The problem is you. You have a problem with not being able to simply look at another human being and appreciate their physique. So for you, it's sin. But you can't make a blanket statement and be like, bodybuilding and fitness stuff and all that is sin for everybody. You can't do that. But that's what he did. And I'm like, all right, well, that's where your walk is at. I don't agree with it, but it is what it is. And then the drinking thing, he feels no Christians should ever be able to drink one drink at all. No drink at all. I'm like, you realize when you take communion, that is wine. You're actually drinking alcohol, (laughs) but whatever. So he's just legalistic on these two issues. And I said, all right, whatever. We just got to agree to disagree. When I see him, we're still nice and cordial, but it's just like, eh, we can't work together. So it is what it is. But all that to say, guys, this culture is just absolutely ridiculous. You should be able to look at another human being and just appreciate them for what they are. If they are attractive to you, then be attracted to them. That's fine. You don't need to take it to the billionth degree and be like, oh, I have to have sex with this person right now. I have to imagine having sex with this person right now. Like, what are, are we kids? Like, are you a, like, this is ridiculous. We live on a planet with 8 billion people. It's okay if you find humans attractive or beautiful or appreciate their physique or whatever. That's okay. We're made in the image and likeness of God. And context is key. Can you go to the beach or or, 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 can you not go to the beach because people are wearing bathing suits? (laughs) It's like, dude, what, what are we talking about here? I don't get it. I personally don't get it. But you know what? If you can't go to the beach because, oh no, you have a problem with lust because there's someone wearing a bikini or a man wearing uh, just, you know, his swim shorts with no shirt on, like, uh, okay. If that's you, then I, okay, then that's you. Then I guess you can't go to the beach. Whatever. But I just, I don't get it, dude. It's so weird. To me, it's 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 very, very strange. But... I will always love bodybuilding. I will never stop being a bodybuilder. Ever. Um, But the point is, you can't add extra rules or laws to the Bible that aren't there. So it's it's an interesting topic to discuss. But uh, context is key, guys. Context is key. Yeah, if someone shows up to, you know, let's say church in a bikini, you're probably going to look a couple times and be like, that's interesting. (laughs) Technically, they can, but it's not, you know, uh, wise, Um, but they technically could, I suppose. You don't know where anyone's coming from. What if a pro guys, what if a prostitute comes in right off the street in her whatever, her outfit or garb? What are you going to do? Are you going to be like, oh, no, we can't let her in? Like, no, you're going to love her like Jesus Christ would love her. Right. And give them time to develop and grow and mature in Christ. But anyway, just this happened, this conversation happened today. And I want to do a podcast about this topic because I think it's pretty interesting. Um, But you notice people start making up these weird kind of rules. Um, There is this thing um, where people say, like people who lead worship music in church, the worship team uh, musically, they try... Of course, we understand there is such thing as modesty. There is such thing as um, not necessarily a black and white dress code. But one thing uh, they say is, oh, girls should not wear yoga pants um, if they're on stage uh, leading worship. And I'm like, well, I get what you're saying. But at the same time, does their shirt cover their private parts, their butt, their front? Does Does it cover? You know, like I just... I gotta, I, I gotta kind of hit pause on you and say, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Yoga, wearing yoga pants are, is not sinful. Now, what else along with that is going on? So, anyway, much love. Think about it. God bless.